Hi, Shred Nation. You ready to learn a good one? Uh, this is a song called Reunion. Um, it's a definite rocker, uh, but it starts off and ends um, with a, just a really melodic um, uh, rhythm, and it's beautiful to play leads to. It's just amazing. I've got it up on my site um, with, uh, with my lead, um, and it is fun to play. Use it as a backing track. Um, well, let's go ahead and get started. It's going to be in the key of A minor. So clean up, clean up your guitar nicely for the first part, um, and then we'll crank the gain as we get through uh, two verses of this rhythm. Okay, so we're going to be playing A minor, and pretty much every chord that we play in this slow part is going to be one string at a time, and we're going to do it very light hammer. after it. Okay, the next chord we're going to use is every, every finger stays in the A minor position except for your ring finger. You're going to move that up to 6-1. Okay. And we're going to go to a D minor. Okay, so the first part of it goes like this. string at a time we're going what I'm doing there is with my pinky on two three back to the A minor and then open which is a I believe an A major seven three strings. You're going to go an F, G, and then back to your A minor with your turn again.
the song starts and ends with that slow part, and it's an opportunity for you to put in some really sweet leads um, when you're using it as a backing track, okay? All right, so we're gonna move on to the fast part. Um, I'm gonna change and put a little gain on my guitar. You should do the same. Right? Um, and then we're gonna kick our drum machine on at 130 beats per Alright, we're going to be doing a lot of two string chords, just like we're doing a lot of the other songs, and we're going to be hammering on the A. Okay? Now, the two string chords we're going to be working with are... Okay? And then I'm using my two middle, two middle fingers... And I'm going uh, strings three and four on the fifth fret. And then I'm also going, uh, on the third string, I'm going fourth fret. And then on the fourth string, I'm going fifth fret. Okay. We're also using, on the seventh fret, the same two middle strings. Also going to be doing uh, with our with our ring finger going up to your sixth fret on your second string and your fifth fret on your third string. And then we're also going to be using the two middle strings open. Okay, so the first part of the rock rhythm goes.
rhythm because you have to have something that's different that kicks off your lead. And so you're going to go into this thing and you're going to play that full rhythm twice. And then when you end that, you're going to go into a C position and you're going to leave your pinky and your ring finger right here on one, three, two, three. Right? So get into your C position. And make sure, make sure these two strings are in place. And I'm strumming just those last two strings. I'm strumming the front end. I'm hammering here. All I'm doing there is I'm lifting my middle finger. I'm moving my index finger to the 5-2. The, uh,
before how we get into this.
I invite you to, to uh, record it into a backing track and just have a world of fun with it. It's great. Now, if you want to listen to it with my lead on it, it's uh, as soon as you open up um, my YouTube site, that's the, the video that appears there, and just watch it, watch how it's done, and look at the leads I put in there. They're beautiful, um, and they're very challenging to play. Make it your own. Don't have to do my leads. Do your own leads to it and practice it. You'll have a lot of fun with this song. Please subscribe, um, and, and thank you for everybody that keeps coming back and, and giving me great comments. I appreciate it. Uh, have a good one. I'll see you in about a week. Bye.